Have you ever seen this guy? I mean, this dude started randomly popping up in my feed and every time I watch his videos, I tend to throw up in my mouth a little bit with each view. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, folks. Whenever I cook at home, I'm not wearing any food grade gloves or any of that industry standard mumbo jumbo, but that's exactly my point. I'm not cooking for the masses. <laughs> just for my fat asses. But seriously, who is this man who serves his food on top of his feet? Who also looks like he hasn't cleaned his pot since the inception of his business. What the hell is even in that pot? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the scotch. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that goddamn bell for the noties. The next goal for this channel is 30k. Let's make it happen. And as always, I appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by. And welcome to the filthiest food vendor in India. The restaurant we'll be covering today is located in the Baro Bazaar Marketplace in Kolkata, West Bengal, India. Forgive me for any mispronunciations. I know I may look like a prince from India, but I'm just Mexican. <laughs> now, deep within this famous Indian marketplace lies an even more famous entity who is either pissed off all the time or ridiculously nice when food bloggers are around. This person who's caused quite a stir online is known as Lali Changani and is the owner of the world famous Changani Club Kachori. Now, before we dive into this chef filled with nothing but happiness, let's actually figure out what's in this pot full of yummy delights. The pot seems to be filled with a special kind of potato curry that is drizzled with what looks like cilantro and the bread is known as Club Kachori, which is basically like a pori, which is a fried bread that almost looks like a biscuit only instead of being cooked with whole wheat flour, Club Kachori is cooked using plain flour and lentils. And for over 50 years, a small shop in the Bara Bazaar marketplace, known as Changani Club Kachori, has been serving a community of dedicated local customers, along with foreigners wanting to try a piece of India's history. The reason many keep coming back to his shop? Well, according to Lali, it's the quality of his food that differs from everywhere else. And according to the customers, it's had the same great taste for over 40 years. Let me tell you, no one seems to be preparing curry like he does. And let me also tell you that he does have a special kind of uniqueness to him, like the way he serves his customers. Okay, so how much is a plate of this good yummy 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 delights? Well, it's around 40 to 50 rupees depending on what you get, which is the equivalent of around 50 US cents. Okay, now that we actually know what's in the pot and how much it costs, let's talk about how he serves these delicious delights to his loyal fan base. Not only does he use a dirty rag on top of his foot as a countertop, he pours the potato curry on top of what looks like a plate of leaves, which are directly near his bare feet. <laughs> He then adds shredded potato chips that looks like shredded cheddar cheese with the bucket of these shavings directly under his hairy arm. <laughs> he finishes the serving with four pieces of the fried kachori that his worker places onto each plate with his bare hands. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mr. Changani, most of the time, serves his customers after he handles money. Money that could have been used in an Indian strip club. <laughs> even sometimes standing on the customer's plates and can even be seen taking a pube out of his mouth at one point. Gross. <laughs> it was probably just a hair, but the word pube makes it better for the video for me. <laughs> Does he have any tables or chairs for his customers? No, hell no. His customers either eat standing up or sitting on top of buckets that look like trash cans. Actually, the buckets look much cleaner than his workspace. 
And after handling his special concoction of spices to his customers, they feast on this yumminess using only their fingers. Now, before everyone gets their panties in a bunch, traditional Indian cutlery does not recognize the use of forks and knives while eating, limiting their use to the kitchen only. Personally, I never use forks, spoons, or knives while I'm eating pizza, tacos, or hamburgers. But when it comes to soupy foods, a spoon never hurt nobody. It also wouldn't hurt the customers if the man didn't touch his bunions every once in a while. Yeah, no, I no, I or even press the leafy plates onto his dirty, stankin' knees. <laughs> it also wouldn't hurt the customers if his feet were as far away from their plates as they can. <laughs> Maybe it adds to the flavor? I don't effin' know. Here's the real question though. How fresh is that curry? How come each one of these pots of curry looks different each time? Sometimes it's a lighter color, sometimes it's a darker color. In most of his videos, his work area is littered with everything he spilled. And how does he clean up? Well, one of his workers comes with a tray, scrapes off the messy workstation, and carefully walks away without spilling any of the tray's components. Which begs the question, does Mr. Changani reuse his spilled curry? The man himself would be put to the test when a customer confronted him, complaining about the shop's hygiene that ultimately went viral. The clip would be posted on X on March 4th, 2024, with the user calling him the most unhygienic kachori vendor in India. The video showcased a very, very angry lolly that landed him more than 2 million views on the X platform alone. While an outburst seen by millions may cause people to change their lives, Lolly seems to not really care what people think about him. And he seems to be doing just fine with his regular line of customers. And, well, all publicity is good publicity. Sometimes. His restaurant rates a 3.2 with 207 votes on Google, with some actually good reviews. It's impossible to visit Kolkata without eating at this famous place. The owner is very helpful and creates the most delicious meals. Highly recommend it. The food is great. Whenever I visit Kolkata, this place and its club Kachori is a must. Good food overall. With some other reviews complaining about the vendor's obvious lack of hygiene. Kolkata is one of the best club Kachori sellers. Taste is very good, but has a little bit of a hygiene issue. Overall satisfactory experience. This is how dirty the place is. See the pictures attached and decide if you still want to visit the place to have the blessed Kachori. Yucky, I say. Luckily, I didn't have it. The day I visited, the shop was closed. I visited on Sunday. I saw the atmosphere and the dirty water that's going there, and thanked God that I didn't get to eat the kachori. What the hell? Now, Mr. Lali Changani's videos on Instagram are roasted to the core, with some stating, A couple of my friends from Canada traveled to India recently and stopped by Uncle G's shop in Kolkata. They said it was the best Indian cuisine they ever tasted. That was the last I heard of them. <laughs> Those containers have been in constant use since 1981. Customer upset. Complaining he didn't get the shits from yesterday's bowl of throw up. India's ambassador of filth. Can someone please translate what he said? Translate, I just shit in this food once, not more. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the filthiest food vendor in India. If you stuck around till the end of this video, you get a gift card to Changani's Club Kachori for a whopping amount of zero dollars. You'll never catch me visiting that place. Are you joking with me? <laughs> now listen to me very carefully. I'm not clowning on this man, and I actually really find joy in people being successful. Just kidding. I'm a hateful, jealous son of a b Seriously though, the man most of the time looks like he's pissed off to have to serve a crowd full of people that support his bullshit shenanigans, and only changes his attitude when famous bloggers come to visit his throne. I mean, look how clean his surfaces are when the big cameras arrive at his shop and compare them to an everyday situation. The fact he even has customers to begin with while also not giving a damn about his shop's hygiene tells you he could really care less about his customers and care more about making a quick buck. But hey, that's just my opinion and I'm a nobody. Would I ever take a stab at this place? Well, most likely not. I don't even get out of my damn house. <laughs> but if I ever visit India, I'll be sure to try some of that famous street curry only hundreds of miles away from Mr. Changani's establishment. <laughs>